My name is Rodrigo Kamade. I'm a software developer for Sabre Travel Network. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install the Red App SDK as well as the tools that we'll need to develop Red Apps. Our first step will be to sign into the Red App Center. Once inside the Red App Center, we'll go to Resources on the left hand side and click on this link. If you do not have an account on Dev Studio, click, click on Sign In, Create New Account. You can register with your email address. To download the SDK, please go to Solutions, How to Guides, SDK. Click on Sabre Red 360 Developer Toolkit and Red App SDK and Resources. The tools that we'll need are the Sabre Red 360 SDK, the Java Development Kit, Eclipse, Node.js, and Visual Studio Code. Our first step is to download the Red App SDK. This is the first link on the list. Once downloaded, you will have a zip file on your computer. similar to the one I'm showing on the screen. You will need to extract the zip package onto any directory on your computer. The result should be a folder named Red App with the version of the SDK that you've downloaded. For now, I'm just going to leave this folder here. Our next step is to download Eclipse an important note to mention, please download Eclipse Luna 32-bit. Once Eclipse is downloaded, you will have a zip file on your computer, similar to the one I'm showing here. Please extract this file to any folder on your computer. The result should be an Eclipse folder similar to the one I'm showing below. Next, please download a Java development kit. As with Eclipse, please download a 32-bit version of the JDK. You will have to accept the license agreement from Java, and you will also be prompted to create an Oracle account if you do not have one. Once we have Eclipse, the JDK, and the Red App SDK downloaded, our first step will be to launch Eclipse. Please click on the Eclipse.exe icon. If you are a first time Eclipse user, you will be prompted to create a workspace folder for Eclipse. This folder will contain your source code for the different projects. Once you click OK, Eclipse is going to launch. We have two steps in configuring our SDK. The first step will be to create a target platform. This is going to tell Eclipse when we build a plugin project what plugins to compile against. We will go to Window, Preferences, Plugin Development, and select the last option, Target Platform. Select Add. Select the first option, nothing, start with an empty target definition. The name is just for your reference. My recommendation would be something familiar to you. So I would put a name SDK. And then select add. We are selecting a directory. We will select browse. The location is going to be the directory where we extracted our SDK package. Inside our SDK folder, please select the folder Target Platform. Please select Next. The next screen should show a list of plugins that are going to be configured for us. Click Finish and then finish one more time. 
Our last step is going to tell Eclipse this is now our active target platform, not the one by default. Click Apply and then OK. Our second step is to configure a run configuration. This is going to tell Eclipse how to run our project. Please select Run, Run Configurations. Under Eclipse Application, please do right-click New. Additionally, you can select the new icon from here, New Launch Configuration. Our name is going to be just for your reference. I will name mine SDK Config. Under Program to Run, please select Run a Product and you should see the following package displayed com.saber.edge.app.product If you do not see this package displayed, please review the steps when configuring the target platform. Under Java Runtime Environment, you should have the JDK that you installed previously. Next, under Plugins, please select the second option, Plugins selected below only the following plugins should be listed. The final step is to validate our target platform and configuration to make sure we have no mistakes. Please click on Validate Plugins. If the following message is displayed, no problems were detected, it means that you've successfully configured the target platform and run configuration for the SDK. Please click Apply and Run and Eclipse is now going to launch a instance of Sabre Red workspace. Let me just fill out my name. On the next screen, you will need to provide your line IATA or TA information. Optionally, you can also select pool TA and leave the field blank and click Finish. This will launch Sabre Red inside Eclipse. So, as you can see, Sabre Red 360 is now launched. This will now be your sandbox to test your projects. Our next two tools are going to be to develop widgets. We will need to download Node.js and Visual Studio Code. Node.js you can download on nodejs.org. Please go to Downloads. For widget development, we need version 8 of Node.js, so please go to Previous Releases. Node.js 8.x, and this will take you to all the installers for version 8. Please download the installer that fits your operating system. I'm going to download our 32-bit Node.js installer for Windows. Once we've downloaded our Node.js package, we'll run the installer. Once we've completed our Node.js setup, we will see this message that has been successfully installed and click Finish. Now we can continue to install our widget development tools to develop widgets in Sabre Red 360. To develop widgets, we are going to use Node's package manager. For more information on this tool, please go to npmjs.com. We will be using a tool that comes with the SDK called Concierge. Concierge is a local NPM library. Our first step will be to go to our SDK folder again, go to Web Modules, Tools, Offline Bundle, access this folder via the CMD. Once inside the offline bundle folder, type the following command. npm install dash g and the name of the concierge package. The name of the concierge package is inside the folder. As you can see, on the screen. Concierge is now downloading. The process might take three to five minutes depending on the bandwidth. 
Once finished, we can continue to build our first widget. So, the concierge tool has been installed. If it is successful, you will see a list of packages that have been added. Our next step will be to install a series of TypeScript packages that will then be available to you when you develop a widget project. The command is ngv install. After the ngv installed command, a series of TypeScript modules will be installed on your computer. The result, if successful, will show success in green, like shown on the screen. To develop widgets, we will be using TypeScript as a programming language. As an IDE, we would recommend Visual Studio Code as it's free and it has great support for TypeScript. However, you can use any IDE that supports TypeScript. To download Visual Studio Code, please go to code.visualstudio.com and click on the download link. And please click on the installer that's needed for your operating system. I'm going to click on the Windows 32-bit installer. Once Visual Studio Code is installed, you should be able to find it in the Windows Start menu under Visual Studio Code. For additional support in installing and configuring the SDK, please refer to the official documentation of the SDK. This is inside the SDK folder inside documentation index.html. Additionally, please feel free to contact us at redappsupport at saber.com. So this has been installing and configuring the SDK. Let's be creative and start thinking about your next project and see you next time.